You have a filter in your dishwasher, and it needs to be cleaned oh, every time. It was believed that there was a vein that connected that finger to your heart. On average, ancient people are f stupid. You're gonna find no, nah, yeah, you got like you ribs gonna, no, and no, little no, things. No, are no, no. Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro. This is Lush, sweetheart. Today, once again, we turn our attention toward the internet to sharpen our minds. Because that's why everyone uses the internet, right? Not to mm. scroll endlessly and watch stupid yeah. to make us dumber. No, no, no. Today we're learning a thing. Let's jump right into it. Here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. Mm. I don't want to start drama with the elders out there, but did you know there's a scientific reason that older people have that old people's smell? Yes. yes. You know, the musty, greasy, grassy smell that can linger on clothes and furniture. But here's why. It's musty, greasy. It smells like a mothball, basically. <laughs> Only if they use mothballs. It's a I, very specific scent. Before we finish this, I feel like I used to want to know this as a kid. I always wonder why. And I think it has something to do with like oil secretion or something that happens in your body and you secrete a particular oil that smells that way as you age. You might know more than I do. I was just thinking that they live in a moth hygiene, closet. You think it's hygienic? Down. You're the nurse and you think it's strictly hygienic? You just said a clinical reason. <laughs> hygiene is not a clinical reason, well, dude. Starting at age 40, the way the omega-7 unsaturated fatty acids go. that sit on the surface of our skin like I said, degrade oils. Changes. As these fatty acids are exposed to oxygen, they're degraded to what's called 2 no needle, which is an unsaturated aldehyde. That I knew about that 2 no needle. No, you didn't. Obviously not. <laughs> I've never heard that word. You're like the one who's hygiene. No needle. <laughs> so scientists call it the no needle smell. So for my older patients that might be watching, don't fret. To combat this natural odor, you just need to shower more frequently and wash your clothes. I mean, so yeah, so there's obviously a hygiene piece to it. Take a shower. Cer cer Take well, a bath. Here's the deal. Sponge bath. Obviously, Whatever you gotta do. When you're at that advanced age. And they don't wash their clothes as much. When you, 100%. So the two no needles obviously get on the clothes. Yeah. No, those goddamn no needles, dude. Crying out loud. I remember when I used to, when I used to have a paper route when I was a kid. I was like nine or ten. Every kid that had a paper route had those customers, yeah. you know, where you'd like walk into the house and be and like, it hits you in the face. What Whoa. the f yeah, a lot of no needles going on. Just, That's probably like dust and crap no, too. No, I on. mean it was everything, but you're old. But it was no needles. It's harder to clean. Mothballs. In, in addition to the no needles, as you you know graduate into an advanced age, it obviously becomes more labor intensive to shower or clean yourself or do any of those things. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. But it's nice to know that it's not just hygiene. It is unfortunately just something you have to combat more because of the way your body processes polyunsaturated seven fat amino branch chain no needles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What did I tell you, honey? We're already learning. We're one video in and we are sharpening our minds. Possum versus opossum. Here's something it's this motherfucker again. My... Uh, shout out Sydney Raz, who apparently, I don't know, does apparently TikTok. Apparently he and... likes things that are fun facts. Yeah. Possum and possum are two different animals. This is a possum. This is a possum. This is the North American possum where this Australian possum got its name. This possum can be spelled possum or possum. Both are right, but only one refers to the possum and the possum. I mean, just a little extra with the TikTok voice, right? Like everyone just feels like they have to act a certain way because it's like, I have to stand out on TikTok, so I'm just gonna sound like a Rick and Morty character. Oh, jeez, oh. Yeah. I get it. I did not know that. I don't think I'd get as excited about it as him. Agree. Lean. Did you know bladders are made? To do this. Absolutely what are you not. talking about? What are you talking what? about? No way. It's this guy. Oh, I want to hear. Ain't no You're way, guy. Me I can just... You know who I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Oh, there better be something. <laughs> Ain't no way. That guy. And then there's this guy who's the what? No way guy, which is actually his screen name. I love no this, these people that build brands around like just syndicating unusual facts, right? <laughs> build a whole ass channel around. Stand yeah. ladders up against a wall? Wait. Okay. Wait. I got my ladder back here. I lean it so it doesn't fall. Oh, f wrestle is pricking oh, so, here. So this is obviously about storage. You know, it's like okay, you can store it that way maybe because yeah, you obviously I don't know. cannot yeah. climb it that well, way. It just stands there like that. F sake. Yeah, okay, we'll try it. Sure. What? No way. Sake. Disclaimer, do not try to climb the ladder. I'm surprised TikTok didn't have like a, uh, a pop -up. this action could result in harm or injury to others. Only perform with a, if you're a professional. On that note, and while we're here, because I'm just was dealing with this before we started, the last video we did, 
You know the wig snatch video? Yes. Where it literally showed like the, the guys riding on the back yeah, of the yeah. subway, they snatched the wig. A, yeah. I'm not gonna show the clip because that video got age restricted and demonetized because it showed a less than two second clip of two guys riding on the back of a subway as they like grabbed the wig. That was it. 20 minute video, two second clip of guys. It's like, no, age restricted. We can't show this to kids under 18 because they're immediately gonna go ride on the back of a subway train and die. Make it make sense. This site is just the... You all right? It's too early. It's not even noon time. I can't be this heated already. Ice cream hack for Mrs. Lush from the team. Thank you. Lighten it up in here, please. Jeez. Yeah. Am I the only one who oh my God, know I feel like my you keep is the ice same. cream in a Ziploc bag like this? It keeps it from getting freezer burn and keeps it soft. Uh, yeah, I learned this today. Well, I have a couple questions here. I, I know you're, you're the connoisseur. Freezer burn's never an issue in our house because ice cream doesn't goes, last that no, long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, how long are you keeping ice cream in the freezer? <laughs> All right. I, I will say, you sometimes have like weird reserve stash that you keep for a long time. Like she has the main ice cream stash that I'm allowed to partake in. Then there's a second stash, like a Ben and Jerry's maybe that I'm, if I'm not allowed to touch, then there's typically a third stash in the downstairs That's, freezer no. of like a flavor of something that particularly- He's exaggerating a little bit, but not uh, a lot. I'm not, uh, it's, really, it's really weird. I have a reserve and uh, it's in case of emergency. <laughs> emergency. Like, and the, you know what? I went into that Ben and Jerry's reserve the other day and guess what? There were freezer crystals on top of it because it was down there. Yeah, because that's bit. the only ice cream that lasts more than a week in our house. Yeah. The whole part about keeping it soft, I'm curious about though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how that works. If the temperature of the freezer is the temperature of the freezer. Well, I, I mean, I mean, you don't know. That. Maybe it's keeping. Did she say it keeps it from getting freezer burnt? That was the first thing she said. Okay. Yeah. It keeps it from getting. For that, I would try it. And keeps it soft. Freezer burn and soft. Yeah. Uh, try it with your yeah, Ben and Jerry's next. It's gone I mean, now. So. Uh, for your next tertiary ice cream stash that you hide from me, let's we'll figure that one out. Just insane. This girl treats her ice cream like better than most people treat their pets. I'm like a food aggressive dog. Yeah. yeah. Just, I'll share anything. Yeah. Don't touch my ice cream. I think one of the only real fights we got in one time is because I unknowingly had three bites of your Ben and Jerry's one night after you went to bed. And the next day it was a text thread about how you saved that specifically for yourself. Because if you, you had to go looking for it, you probably shouldn't touch it. If I have to go looking for it, maybe you should keep the fridge stocked better. <laughs> but then wait. Wait, 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 this goes deeper. Because I will ask him, okay, would you like me to get you a certain flavor? No, I don't want it stocked with bullshit because I want to eat it, but you get it anyway, and then I'm forced to eat it because I have no self-control. You need your own goddamn fridge. You kind of have it in the freezer I in do. the basement. Actually. I do. So if you have to go looking down there, then don't touch it. I have no self-control. I was today years old when I realized 30% chance of rain doesn't mean that. It means 30% of the area of the city you're in will get rain. Okay. I don't know if I believe no. that. I'm not Come sure on. if I believe that. That is, no. Source, trust me, bro. Like, what are we talking about here? Every fucking short video they start, it's like them walking into a mirror. You know, it's like, I was today years old when I learned, like, just start without having to walk into the scene. Everyone just want to get a glimpse that Leon's wearing his PJ pants Oh, uh, right yeah. Now? When you're a work from home kid, PJ pants stay taut. I don't know why I use the word taut, but they stay on as well. And usually not taut, because I'm sitting. They're loose and comfortable. <laughs> Yellow watermelons exist. I don't know what the f this means. A yellow what watermelon. The? Did you know yellow watermelon was cultivated I did. before the pink watermelon? You did? I picked this up from Tanaka Farms. I reason, think we saw this on a previous video is the only reason why I know. Why it's yellow is yeah. because oh, so it's, I the same knew too, then. it's the same antioxidant that gives tomatoes the red color. However, huh. the yellow one shares similar nutritional benefits, except it contains more beta carotene which gives the same health benefits as carrots. So let's talk about taste. If you cut this up and told me it was pineapple, I would believe you. The red's a little bit thicker. Not if you Ooh, eat it though. There's more like a crisp. The taste is lighter to me. It's sweet though. It reminds me of honeydew a lot. And that was. Okay. It looks kind of like a honeydew. I'm almost positive I've eaten yellow watermelon once. Really? Yeah, I'm now I'm having mixed feelings. If I ever see it, I'll buy it. Me in college when I realized urine comes from your blood and not the liquids from your digestive tract. Yes, urine comes from the blood. Pumpkin unrelated. Let's follow the path what? of water from when you drink it until when it is excreted as urine. A cup of water into the mouth, into the stomach, hmm. into your intestines. In the intestines, it gets absorbed across the intestinal walls right. into your body. And a large portion of that water ends up being part of the liquid fraction of your blood. Right. Turns out your blood you can think of as two very rough parts. There's a bunch of water and then there's a bunch of stuff dissolved in that water or immersed in that water in your blood. Why is blood red? Because there are red blood cells immersed in water in your blood. So when your blood goes to the kidneys, a portion of the liquid fraction of your blood gets filtered out. 
Some of that water gets reabsorbed back into your body, but some of it doesn't. The part that doesn't gets sent to your bladder to become urine. So all of the urine that you have urinated was very recently part of the liquid fraction of your blood. I thought that was a pretty good explanation. It was a very I good liked explanation. The way you did it. I feel like I knew that if I had to think about it. Yeah, you just need to think it through. Yeah, that's, sure. that's obviously how I, you, I know you could hydrate. Come up with that. You don't just drink water and it goes directly to your bladder to piss out. Like, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, just dumps right in there. <laughs> don't even know you have a filter in your dishwasher and it needs to be cleaned mm, every three months. What? No. Every three months? You mean every six years? Because you, you're pissed because you know I'm going to make you do this today. Oh, well, it's already the one in the, the washing in machine, the washing machine that I have to nightmare. clean that's annoying. And now I, the fact that you're learning about a dishwasher one means, oh, it's great. That's one more thing I'm going to have to do way more frequently than you're supposed to do it because you're psychotic about cleaning filters and shit. Well, we've been here six years and I haven't done it yet. Well, and guess what? The dishes come out clean as a whistle. There's a dishwasher filter? Oh, yeah. Obvious, oh, obviously. Who knew? No, I mean, I, I mean, I don't deal with the dishwasher that much, but let's have a look. Here's the deal though. The filter, I'm assuming it's obviously going to be a drain filter so that you're not sending a bunch of food chunks down into sure. your septic. It should be as simple as like a drain filter where you pull it out and, and rinse it rinse or whatever. It and put it back in. That'll be my guess. Oh, we're going to find out yeah, today, young man. Yeah, right there. So this is funny. I've like run sanitize cycles with it and like put like this extra sanitizer stuff in the there, dishwasher, but I've never thought about this before. Way. There it is. I mean, that's pretty gross. That's disgusting. It's like a piece of food. It's the big deal. It's like I mean, it's like a bowl of shepherd's pie. Food's <laughs> food been clean. All right, now you're making me hungry. Right, relax. <laughs> yeah, you want some dirty shepherd's pie? Yeah. <laughs> the beautiful part about that video is it was instructional enough to the point where you can do it. No, no, oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Like I under the dishwashing filter one, I understand no, because you're incapable of doing anything that's mildly technical on any sort of appliance. No, it's just gross. And it smells like it smells hell. So have you ever, if any of you that have cleaned a oh, dishwasher, yeah. I'm sorry, a washing, washing machine, machine filter, it smells like mildew piss in, Awful. in two, two acetyl or whatever that the skin oil is from old people. <laughs> Two aninons, two nanos, two naninos. All I'm saying is, this is great news up top, me. so proud of you for taking care of that no, responsibility. Not, you're gonna do it when we get back. Nah, nah I ain't doing it. But the dude D's nuts. There will be a do. sticky note on the counter today that says dishwasher filter. Put a sticky note on your face that says for sale. <laughs> gonna come with a high price tag too. I need you for this business. You were today years old when you realized part 571. What? Lemons are not actually a naturally occurring fruit as they're cultivated by humans. What? The reason why you wear a wedding ring on your fourth finger. I'm sorry, what is, what is? You need to give me a little more Cultivated is not the right word there, I don't think. Like. You grow them on a tree. Not sure. I've... On your left hand is because during ancient times, it was believed that there was a vein that connected that finger to your heart. On average. Ancient people are stupid, but in theory, there's a vein everywhere that connects to your heart. So I guess they were right. Like, on average, it's... you burn roughly 113 calories watching a 90 Shut minute scary movie, up. which is equivalent to roughly a 30 minute walk. No. First of all, that's probably maybe five calories more than your BMR would have burned anyways in an exactly. hour and a half. It depends. Right? That, like, is your heart rate and then up? Is that what he's trying to tell us? Comparing sitting and watching a movie to taking a walk makes me want to punch this guy in the f***ing throat. So instead of exercise, you just watch scary movies. <laughs> Here's something I wish I knew before. That is definitely going to be made into short. <laughs> I don't walk. I just watch very scary movies and I burn extra calories. Vegetable back and forth makes it easier to cut. What? Rock. Oh, obviously. Who hasn't done this in their life? What? Are you unaware that that's how you do it? Extremely. I mean, normally I just rock the knife, but you can't, you like, just pressing down, like, no, 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 you're rocking as it's like cutting. So you can either do it with the fruit yeah, and hold the knife. Yeah, he was moving the food. Yeah, it's either that or you can do it with the knife. It's the same so fucking phenomenon. So I found phenomenon. a different hack one time because I always had a hard time with like acorn squash. Mm. And you microwave it for like a minute or a minute and a half, just yep. as is. That and it softens it up enough to slice through it. Typically soften fruit. We'll it's see not that. Fruit, but okay. So microwaving thing, organic things will typically soften it. <laughs> yeah, it's just so dense. Yes, unless it's so bread. So it's not gonna like cook it. Softens it and then it becomes very hard. That's what she said. Wait, hold on. This wait, one... wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, it's this, yeah, it's this guy, that's the guy. <laughs> Team goes, better way to bone your meat demonstrated by Leon's doppelganger, which is the guy you referenced earlier, which is the- Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. You're telling me for over 40 years of boning meat with my hands, I could have done this? 
ain't no way. <laughs> it's crazy. And it works. Oh, I saw this. Seal it up. I saw this. Bone it made me mad. Wait, because you do this shit all the time. It. You're always boning rotisserie chicken. That's what she said. To like add on to that. <laughs> <laughs> And we're just gonna leave it at that. And that's it. Keep it going. It takes forever. Half the time you don't get the bones out. Oh, he just drives me absolutely. Every time I walk in the house, she's boning the hell out of her rotisserie chicken. Pounding it. Pounding something, boning the chicken. It's crazy. I'll Our explain what I do wild. afterwards. So, okay. Take a large baggie. I mean, I get it. This makes sense, but it's. Then you have to go find in the bones. That's after. what I mean. It's harder this way. Agree. You're much more comfortable just. Well, sacrificing some meat so you know where the bones are. You get most of the breast meat off. Like, it, in, unless they show me a good way to get rid of the bones, this to me is not any easier. Exactly. You're gonna find no, little No, yeah, bits. you got like you ribs gotta, no, and little no, things. No, are, no, no. Yeah, of course. Or you could have just gone in and grabbed that from the breast, like, you just wow. ate a piece of the head. <laughs> Dude, store-bought, nope. like, market basket rotisserie chicken, like, fresh from the store is so f***ing good. I just can't imagine, like, how many chemicals and are, it's, it's filled with that, okay, to but make that just it taste so good. But that just down a rabbit hole of... Oh, everything from the store, I know. Everything. 100%. So just try not to think about it. Well, I mean, you have to kind of think about it. Okay, so, <laughs> do you want to have a garden and grow your own sh Honestly, yes. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to move somewhere else. I know. I, I, I honestly want like a off the grid farm. I would love to have a chicken coop to eat my own eggs. I'll become friends with the local butcher. There's some people around here that have the eggs. That have the eggs? Yeah. yeah. Well, we like, we have like decent amount of farmland around mm -hmm. where we're at. Anyway, anyway, I just take that thing and manhandle it, and I just pull the breast meat off, and I get rid of the rest. All that's to say, to finish my point, in order oh. to live like organically in a way, you know, to avoid. The, the modern trappings of big food. It's like, it really has to be your f entire lifestyle. <laughs> it's like, yes. you, can't, like, you can't live a normal life and avoid just like pumping hormones down your throat. It sucks. So you do what you can. I like a little rotisserie chicken on my salad. It's delicious and it's moist and it's tasty. And who knows, maybe it's not that bad for you. Maybe I'm just <laughs> on Twitter too much. What the f Bro, don't wake up Definitely hibernating wake up. there. Jeez, Hibernation is something going to sleep straight AFK for an entire winter, but it's not. Let me explain. I feel like I talked about this a couple times, but okay. basically hibernation is power saving mode for animals where they lower everything, heart rate, blood pressure, body temp, all exactly. that, so that they don't starve to death when the weather gets cold and groceries get low. Excuse, Excuse me, that shit is cute as Blech. hell, dude. How do you look at that and not, and not think that's cute, bro? Blech. 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 I think the bear's cuter than that thing. Yeah, I mean, bears are bad. What badass. is that stupid thing? Was, I don't know, but it's adorable. Don't you just want to nuzzle it? Like, no, I can just picture it crawling around and being creepy. Yeah. <laughs> you are a rare breed of human being, I tell you. Here's the thing, and though. Then there's you. Bears technically don't even hibernate. What they do is like the light diet version called torpor. What? They're awake for the same amount of time they normally would be, except they're on low battery mode for the season. Also, they don't use the bathroom the entire time. In fact, I think Come they on. even turn their pee. So they're just like indica couch locked, basically? <laughs> what? So clearly they figured out something we couldn't. They'll even give birth and nurse. Sometimes in their sleep, but from what I've been taught, the big difference is bears don't really have hibernation lag. They can snap out of it like that. It's not really good for them, but they can be on go if they need to. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Predators. Again, during the time we'd normally expect them to be knocked out. So yeah, moral of the story, and it's an important one. Hibernating bears can put you on a shirt no matter what part of the calendar we're on. Speaking of which, I'm selling calendars where each day is a way an animal can turn you full. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the hustle. Oh. Uh, what I took from that video is why didn't you just give birth while you were asleep like the bear does? Oh, please. I mean, I went to sleep after because I oh, damn so, near died. So painful. Just fall asleep, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back in the day, you could. They used to, like, put you under anesthesia. Like an early post-medical... Yeah, I forget kinda... what the drug was called, but there was something they used to give you. Probably... But also women used to die a lot during childbirth. Mm, yeah. Proper way. I've definitely seen this a long There's time ago. Something I didn't this know until I was in my 30s. You were supposed to pinch Toblerone apart? I've always broken it down. Yeah. Oh, my God. You were supposed to pinch Toblerone apart. Does it matter? I think you can literally, like, no one's you setting that... Nobody is setting that rule, it. okay? There is no rule in a rule book somewhere that says this is how you must break apart. Well, she probably says it on piece. the box. To break a piece off, pinch it. And who the f eats Toblerone, first of all? Like, this is such a meme at this point. Like, do you know anyone in your personal life that has a Toblerone lying around the house right now? The answer is no, you don't. This is a tanker truck that we often see on the road. Its interior is not as empty as we think. 
The wave protection plate inside the tank will divide the tank into several parts. This is because when the vehicle is moving, the liquid inside the tank will swing back and forth mm -hmm. with the tank right. to form a wave. The impact of the waves can be two or three times the weight of the liquid itself. Oh. This brings oh. instability to the braking oh. so and break driving it up. of the vehicle. In order to make the liquid in the tank more stable when driving. So the installation of anti-wave baffles. Yeah, to form yeah, a yeah, baffles. This effectively reduces the back and forth movement path of the liquid in the tank and stabilizes it as soon as possible. This greatly reduces the impact of liquid inertia on the vehicle increases the safety and stability of the vehicle. In fact, the baffle here does not completely isolate the liquid. The holes of different sizes and asymmetric yeah, yeah, front yeah, and yeah. rear mounting can still allow the liquid to flow and facilitate loading and unloading. I am curious. I do like to learn silly little facts like that. I suppose I never really thought about it. But uh, be a, yeah, yeah. Nope. Now, more interestingly, I've always wanted to know how camels are transported. What the f***? No. No. <laughs> Relocating a few camels. Yeah, dude, why yeah, not, dude? Line. Get sent, camel bitch. It looks like a camel field day. Like, I was going to say, it's like... It's having fun. Jealous. How not to cry cutting onions. Here you go, hon. Or peppers. Here's something I didn't oh, know in the 30s. Like, oh, wet paper towel. Uh, I've seen people, like, not cry. I've seen people get, like, if they're cutting really hot peppers, just the okay. hot onions. A wet paper towel next to an onion stops you from crying while slicing it because it probably absorbs the... Towel next to an onion stops you from crying while slicing it. Wet paper towel. Onion. Slice. Okay, I can smell it. Red on you. I have very weak eyes. It worked. I've seen other hacks for that too. Before. Yeah, glass of water. Same idea. So I wonder if there's like you can get immune to it because like chefs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, I don't use anything anymore for chopping onions, and I haven't had a problem. And imagine if you did it every morning in prep in the kitchen as a chef or something. Yeah, yeah I, I, I imagine hmm. it's. Or maybe it's a genetic, like when you eating asparagus making your piss smell. Oh man. Which is genetic. It either does or it doesn't. Yep. And let me tell you, I have the gene because when I eat oh, asparagus, my God. it. Reeks when I piss after, and I'm obsessed with it in a weird way, kind of like you know when you like the smell of your own brand yeah. from the other side, you know. Same it's pretty idea. foul. Always looking forward to that post asparagus piss. What did he say? Oh. Normally it catches me off guard because I forget and I'm just like waddling into the bathroom, like holy hell, what happened? Who died in here? Your bladder. Yeah, well today you learned that I have the gene and you don't for asparagus piss. I don't think. So there you go. Hope we've all learned something here today. As always, we appreciate your attendance in class. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.